Chapter Eleven of Light on Life's Difficulties by James Allen. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Andrea Fiore. Chapter Eleven Light on the Way of Wisdom. The path of wisdom is the highest way, the way in which all doubt and uncertainty are dispelled, and knowledge and surety are realized. Amid the excitements and pleasures of the world, and surging whirlpools of human passions wisdom so calm so silent and so beautiful is indeed difficult to find difficult not because of its incomprehensible complexity but because of its unobtrusive simplicity and because self is so blind and rash and so jealous of its rights and pleasures wisdom is rejected of men because it always comes right home to one's self in the form of wounding reproof and the lower nature of man cannot bear to be reproved before wisdom can be acquired self must be wounded to the death and because of this because wisdom is the enemy of self self rises in rebellion and will not be overcome and denied the foolish man is governed by his passions and personal cravings when about to do anything he does not ask is this right but only considers how much pleasure or personal advantage he will gain by it he does not govern his passions and act from fixed principles but is the slave of his inclinations and follows where they lead the wise man governs his passions and puts away all personal cravings he never acts from impulse and passion but dispassionately considers what is right to be done and does it he is always thoughtful and self-possessed and guides his conduct by the loftiest moral principles he is superior to both pleasure and pain wisdom cannot be found in books or travel in learning or philosophy it is acquired by practice only a man may read the precepts of the greatest sages continually but if he does not purify and govern himself he will remain foolish a man may be intimately conversant with the writings of the greatest philosophers but so long as he continues to give way to his passions he will not attain wisdom wisdom is right action right doing folly is wrong action wrong doing all reading all studying is in vain if man will not see his errors and give them up wisdom says to the vain man do not praise yourself to the proud man humble yourself to the gossip govern your tongue to the angry man subdue your anger to the resentful man forgive your enemy to the self-indulgent man be temperate to the impure man purge your heart of lust and to all men beware of small faults do your duty faithfully and never intermeddle with the duty of another these things are very simple the doing of them is simple but as it leads to the annihilation of self the selfish tendencies in a man object to them and rise up in revolt against them loving their own life of turbulent excitement and feverish pleasure and hating the calm and beautiful silence of wisdom thus men remain in folly nevertheless the way of wisdom is always open is always ready to receive the tread of the pilgrim who has grown weary of the thorny and intricate ways of folly no man is prevented from becoming wise but by himself no man can acquire wisdom but by his own exertions and he who is prepared to be honest with himself to measure the depths of his ignorance to come face to face with his errors to recognize and acknowledge his own faults and at once to set about the task of his own regeneration such a man will find the way of wisdom walking with humble and obedient feet he will in due time come to the sweet city of deliverance end of chapter 11 recording by andrea fiori